Hello, my name is Shredderos, and welcome to night one of the national finals of Shadow Squadron American Ninja Warrior. Tonight, the competitors will take on stage one, the first of four brutal courses that stand before them in total victory. Stage one is designed to greatly test the competitor's speed and agility. Throughout the entire competition, the competitors have been faced with trials. Some of the very best runs from the season were from Warren on the City Qualifiers and Logan on the City Finals, who both got the fastest time of the night on their respective courses. And all of the competitors have done their best work to prove their worth in this competition and are each deserving of personal recognition for doing so. And the links to their channels and where you can find them will be in the comment section below. Now we will have our first look at the course. First, competitors will run over the stone bench. Then they will go up the blue side. From there, they will go down the yellow side and jump to the yellow monkey bars. Then they will jump over the yellow tunnel. go up the red side. It's the first obstacle on this whole second apparatus of obstacles, save just for the finals. They will then go through the blue tube and down the fireman pole. The hardest obstacle on this course is going up the red tube slide. They must get on top of it and climb up it. And finally, they will get to the red slide and jump out of it. They cannot exit normally. From the bottom, they must jump out of it. From placement to city qualifiers to city finals, the competitors have only run the course 
to test their overall ability and to qualify for the next course. Their times were not very important and as long as they made it to the designated obstacle on the course they were permitted to fail the rest of the course and still move on in the competition. But now that the competitors have made it to the national finals all of that has changed. There will be no more qualifying runs in this season. You must make it through every single course to get to the next one. There are four steps in the national finals to make its total victory and it starts with stage one. Stage one does have a time limit forcing you to go fast and is full of lower body based obstacles to test your agility. Also, as in every stage of the national finals, a single fall on any obstacle on any course will result in complete disqualification from the competition and the runner will not be permitted to move on no matter where they made it to. To gain total victory, they must successfully clear every single obstacle in all four stages of the national finals. The first runner on stage one is Elijah Helsel. He's getting ready right now. This is Elijah on stage one. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. I fall. Do not fail that. Do not fail that. I up the blue side. He had a kind of a miss start there. You're gonna go up this blue. Watch your head. You move quick. Down the yellow, down the yellow. Don't run. See the shadow jump. You got this. He Don't fail this. this. Oh, good. He did it. He caught that. Nice, nice. Move on. Get over that quick. He's improved a lot since his last practice. Go up there, up there. Through the blue. Down the fireman pull. Yep, go on. Up this red, up this red. You can even, like, This is going to be a real challenge for you. Okay, Elijah. Right, just, Don't you can't you sit. Can. You cannot sit on it. Remember, you've got your Don't, time. You're gonna like have wet pants. Yeah, what's the time? Like, uh, what's the time? Yeah, no. Travis, what's the time? Minute forty left. Minute forty. All, All right. Come on. You got, come on, you got this. It's the hardest part right here. If you can just pull up here, don't crumble. Don't, don't crumble. Don't crumble. Push up. Push up. Think of the military. Hit! Yes, you. push up with your upper body. Come on. Get your legs on it. Use your shoes. Use your shoes. Like grip the sides. There we go. There we go. Yeah. You got. You got. Now grab the next one. Grab the next one. All right. Now get your knee over it. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Come on. Put your foot in that slot. Come on, yeah, put your foot up. What? Push yourself up. A little awkward there. He's running out of time. Come on. You got this. What's up? What's up? 56 seconds left. Oh, Elijah, come on. Elijah, you got it. Yeah. Six seconds. Come on. All right, come down. You got to let him go over. Come on. Oh, my God. Push up. There. Oh, put your, bring that foot up and push on that. I'm not doing it. Yeah. There, you push up. Go on that. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got this. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. You got to hurry up. Come on. Go, go, go. Get my leg up. Get my leg up. We're in your neck. Get down that side. <laughs> Get down that side and jump off. <laughs> Come on, jump off. Jump off. Jump. 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 Move. He did it. What was the time? Elijah made it across the stone bench after slipping just a little bit at the beginning of it. He cleared the shadow jump, got over the yellow tunnel, but then struggled a lot on the red tube slide climb and he just barely made it through with enough time remaining. He then jumped out of the red slide and cleared the course. He's our first runner of the night and the first clear on stage one. Good job. Next on stage one is Travis Stradley, one of only two to clear the city finals course. It's Travis on stage one, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Two step. 
Oh, we cross up the blue side. Let's nice. go all the way up. Down here. Down the other side. Shadow up for the shadow gun. Brandon, move. What's going on? Nice. Over here. Yellow tunnel? Yeah, over the yellow tunnel. Nice. Got a new technique. Dash vault. Like this. Here's the blue tube. Down the fireman pole. Up the red tube side. Nice. No hands. Quick. Jump out of the red side. Oh, everything's wet. Clear. I don't know why that's wet. And Travis cleared the course with a very fast time. He usually puts up pretty fast times on the courses. He gets through easily and doesn't really struggle on much. He'll be moving on to Sage 2. Next runner on Sage 1 is Joyana Hustle. She's getting ready now. This is Joyana on Sage 1. 3, 2, 1, go. On the cross very quickly. Up the blue side. Moving pretty quickly. Pretty quick. Come across. Down the yellow. Setting up for the shadow jump. Nice. Cut. Run. Up the yellow tunnel. Up the red side, yeah. Go on, do it. Alright, no. Down the hole. We're going up the red side. You can do it! I like Get off the course. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you go. This is going to be a close time nice with Craig. Nice, move. Wait, go oh, quick, quick. You can be Trey. Just jump out there. Just jump out. Jump, jump, out. jump. 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 <laughs> All right, good job. Trey. Nice. Look, you got 13. Our third runner, Joyana, clears the course. So far, no one has failed on Sage 1. Should we moving on? Next on Sage 1 is Brandon Bowers, and he was a little bit disappointed to fall on the city fun, of course but he wants to do well tonight on Sage 1. This is Brandon on Sage 1. Three, two, one, go. Remember, if you fail here, your season's done. Blue side, up the blue side. Almost fell off the stone bench. A rocky start, but he's coming back. Down the yellow slide from here. Nice. Moving down. Now he's on to the shadow jump. Nice. Swing off. Okay. Over the yellow tunnel. Nice. Up here, up the red side. Through the blue tube. We're gonna come down the fireman pole. Come on. In pretty quick. It's the biggest obstacle in the course to get on top of this. Oh, bro, I'm so slippery. Use your shoes. Yeah, use your shoes, Don't, not your knees. Shoes, Brandon. Alright, good. We're up there. Come on, knees. Not knees. Keep going. Alright, we're next. Nice. Get in the red slide and jump out of it. You're good. You're clear. Just go to from the top and jump out. Wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Brandon, come, come, come from this here. side. Here. Let's go. Disregard. Good job. Brandon makes up for his fall on the city final, of course, by putting up a pretty good time on Sage 1, clearing the course and getting through. He looked pretty good out there and wants to continue that success on Sage 2. Stopping up to the starting line is Tri Housel. And he's getting ready to run now. This is Trey on stage one. Three, two, one, go. We're across, up the blue side. 
Down the yellow? I know. And he's gonna make his jump. Nice. Run. He's gonna go over that yellow tunnel. Nice. Up this red slide. Go. Through the blue tube. Down the pole. Come on. He's going quick. It's gonna be a trouble right here. Go up. He's moving. Nice. Don't slip off. Yeah, you have a bunch of traps and sit I was just slipping around on there. <laughs> Alright, now down, down this red side. Keep going. Jump out, jump out. Make sure, Trey, don't, don't disqualify yourself. Wait, what? Trey made it through all of the obstacles, but did not jump out of the red slide. But because he did not clearly understand the rules, because we did not tell him exactly what to do before his run, he is going to be permitted to move on. But any more falls and any more failure to complete an obstacle will result in disqualification from Ella. Next on stage one is Warren Black, who put the fastest time of the night on the city qualifier course and would have gotten the second fastest time on the city finals if he had cleared. This is Warren on stage one, three, two, one, go. Off the blue side. He's put up some really fast time so far this season. He's a pick to go very far. And then jump. Oh, right, right. From that liner. Nice. So far, nobody's failed it. Now the fireman pull. Off the red tube. Not even using hands, look at this. Jump right out of here. Solid run, moving to stage two. After getting the fastest time on the city qualifier, Warren is expected to go fast on the course. And he does just that. He clears the course with the fastest time of the night so far, and we'll be moving on to stage two. The final runner on stage one is Logan Stradley, who has cleared all three courses so far and got the fastest time of the night on the city finals. And he really wants to move quickly again tonight on stage one. This is Logan on stage one. Three, two, one, go. Two steps, zone bench. It's going up the blue side. It's got a very fast pace. Jumps down the stairs, down the yellow side. Makes a huge jump to the shadow jump. It's over there fast. And jumps over the yellow tunnel. Up the red side. Down the fireman pole, doesn't even really go down, it just steps out of there. Gets up this extremely fast, doesn't start at all, and jumps out of the side. Going into the national finals, Logan really wanted to just focus solely on one stage at a time and bring his best performance out on each course, and tonight that is what he did. He cleared the course and got the fastest time of the night, and he will be moving on to stage two with every single one of the other competitors. Not one of the competitors went out on stage one tonight, and they will all move on to stage two, and hopefully they will continue their success there and move on even farther to get their chance at total victory. Looking at the final standings, every competitor cleared the course. Logan cleared with the fastest time with 1 minute 51.6 seconds remaining, and that was followed closely by Warren with 1 minute 48.13 seconds remaining, and Travis 
with 1.44.05 seconds remaining. Brandon, Trey, and Joyana all cleared the course with over a minute remaining, and Elijah just barely made it past the time limit with only 14.23 seconds remaining. With one stage already down, the end of this competition is closer than ever. But while all of the competitors overcame the trials of Stage 1, they must now take on Stage 2. Stage 1 tested a runner's speed, and so did Stage 2, but instead of being comprised of agility obstacles, it is made up of strength obstacles. Stage 2 is a much more difficult and much more challenging course, and they must take on Stage 2 next week, in the final episode of Shadow Squadron American Ninja Warrior and the end of the national finals. If they overcome stage two, they'll move on to the near impossible stage three and maybe even the legendary stage four. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Shadow Squadron American Ninja Warrior. It was the first of two episodes of the national finals. And I hope you do join us next week for the finale of this competition. My name is Shredders, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.